I think one of the biggest concerns I have is that uh, significant portions of the population are being actively misled into supporting internet censorship because basically the proponents of internet censorship will initially target uh, some group for censorship that they know no one will stand up for. Uh, for example, uh, in the US, um, there are some fringe neo-Nazi groups who are being censored from the internet. And, you know, obviously no one likes neo-Nazis, but the problem is if you get... The reason why the censorship proponents are going after neo-Nazis first is not because they only hate neo-Nazis, it's because they know no, no one will protest that, and as a result, they'll get a precedent they can then use against people who actually, whose speech we actually do care about more. Um, and so I think it's, uh, I, think it, I think it's important to, uh, you know, stand up for free speech, even when it's people we hate who are, do who are making that speech, in the style of the uh, famous uh, Voltaire paraphrase, I detest what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's been, I think, some, I think some people do understand that, uh, that censorship is a very slippery slope, that it will end up getting used against you if you tolerate it being used against your enemies. Um, but I think some more education on that topic is needed because there's w far too many people who are actively applauding censorship of people whose political views they don't like and they don't seem to get that this will be used against them later.